How's it going, Ray? Oh man, I feel like we've been running around the clown car yeah. this morning getting all this stuff set up. Hamcation 2023, you have the 905, and, and literally we've got three antennas up here too that you just set up like minutes before opening. We cut the last zip tie. Right now. And so we're gonna take a look at the 905. First time in the United States, basically, this has been available, right? Yes, sir. All right. Well, not available yet. Well, to, it's to a prototype. Look at, to yes. look at, okay, yeah. okay, right on. And from, from the looks of it, Receivers are receiving something. Yeah. And one caveat, no, it does not have a video output. This is being driven off of the 7851. So as you can see, 14 megahertz on the display. We're on 10 gig here. Right. So again, no video output. Okay. You got the 905 head. We've got the speaker microphone that comes with it. So again, when uh, we are talking earlier about soda microwave, that's the same microphone for the 705. Is the same two two lug two wire connection? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, it's identical. Okay. It's it's identical. So mm -hmm. I mean, it just it just feels like soda soda mm -hmm. microwave. DC power coming into the radio on one side of the backpack. We've got the uh, power over Ethernet cable going to the main body out the other side. Mm -hmm. The body with the 905, we've got a a end type connector for two meters seventy centimeters. Then uh, we have 2.4, and uh, yeah, I know we're going to get critiqued about the jumper and everything. But <laughs> you're good, you're hey, good. Hey, we're at a ham fest. That's you, right. You kludge whatever you can. We're just lucky you have it here. But this one's 2.4. Mm -hmm. We do not have a GPS antenna connected to it. That's what this plug is. And then you've got the 5.6. Okay. So 2 meter, 70 centimeters, 1.2. Oh. Is that a tri-band uh, type-in connector? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> hey, I learned something new here. <laughs> Two meters, 70 centimeter, 23 centimeter oh. on the end type on the end. connector. Yeah. yeah. Then 2.4, 5.9. So five bands right. come with the radio. And okay. if you want to go to 10, you need the expansion yes. module. Yes, right. then you got the 10 gig module right. that we feed from 2.4. It's a transverter off of 2.4. So it goes here. If you're on 2.4, you bypass. This is a 2.4 antenna. Okay. And then we've got the 10 gig antenna. Oh, I see. And that's these up here, right? So when we look at here, the way that we go, 2.4, 5.6, and 10 gig. Now, one thing real quick, <clears throat> I will let you guys Add on your version of let's read the Smith charts. <laughs> but here's the Smith charts 2.4, 5.6, and 10 gig. And that's vertical alignment, so you can see the bigger yes. lobes are there at the bottom. So you're already, that goes back to the whole soda discussion, right? Because you set this up on a mountaintop and you're beaming down to whomever is down there basically. Yes. Now we, we kind of set it up with the 10 gig far away. Uh, we will have a parabolic dish available yeah. for sure. a high gain parabolic that we're going to bring in. And there's no reason that anyone can't obviously make their own. Right? They're doing it already. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. Now one of the other caveats, sorry to walk in front of the camera, no, one good. of the other caveats is this is the, the regular hams type SHF product. It's got everything that you need to get on these bands and operate. I know the the aficionados, the the, the guys that really do heavy duty SHF are going to critique it and they're going, right. well, it doesn't do this, it doesn't do that. I'm sorry, guys. This is first generation, commercially available, off the shelf type product for what it does. It, it it does a lot. And, and as far as I'm concerned, like, you know, the big point that Will was always mentioning is that... And what I've been telling folks is we're filling a niche. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're filling a gap that's underserved in the hobby right now, right. which is SHF, right? I will, with some shame, admit that when I first started reading up on this product, I wasn't even, I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know we had an allocation in 5 gigs. I certainly didn't know we had an allocation in 10 gigs. Right. But we do, and we're not using it, right? Right. And we know what happens when we don't use it. That's right. Um, and so this gives us a turnkey option uh, for any ham, you know, out there that wants to play to, you know, go to their favorite amateur radio retailer, pick this thing up off the shelf and start playing, man. Yeah. Start putting power on the bands and, you know, seeing what's to see out there or even just, you know, 
like I said, hamming around, you know, being hamming dumb. around. This morning, again, these are kind of underused, utilized bands. I, right. Yeah. And this is, you're, you're basically one of the, as far as I'm concerned, the only manufacturer that's kind of leaning into making something like this. Now, one of the cool things, and Josh, you and I stumbled across this while setting it up. Yeah. Was the span for the scope is different than on the 705. I kept hitting the span button and it would come up and disappear. There's a minus and a plus like we have on the R9500 and the R8600 to expand it. Right now we're looking at 25 meg. That is the, the max, plus or minus 25 meg. Then 10, 5, 2.5. I mean, it'll go down to the ridiculous for 10 gig at plus or minus 2.5 kilohertz. So I guess oh, my question is, and, and one other thing, you push and hold it, it will go from one end to the I other. Saw that. Yeah, you have to yeah. have these modules okay. because that's the um, whole point of the high frequency. Yeah, it's a heat sink because the radio does power over Ethernet. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Uh, a full size SD card. Okay. Um, for all those wondering, that is a USB C port. USB Type C. Uh oh, USB C. <laughs> and then a LAN connection. Okay. Have not gotten that far, and I'd mentioned on another podcast that I know the viewers are going to go, RTFM, right? Know this radio. Read the fine manual. Yeah. Don't have one yet, so we're, <laughs> we're learning by experimentation right. and That's bad habits. <laughs> also, on the bottom of the radio, it lays out what your connections are on this oh, side okay. here. It, it is imprinted, but I can't read that anymore, but I can make out this much better. And it will do amateur television analog, not digital. Correct. That is correct. Okay. At this time, yes. there has been discussions about updates. Don't know for sure. That's pure speculation at this point. There's all your bands right there. Yeah. That functionality is still the same. Same interface. 7300. Yeah. Uh, 705. Same with the modes of the modes as well. The one thing about it, it is amateur band only. There is no extended receive. Um, like the 9700. It's. The bands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bands are specifically ham bands only. Right. Um, I know it's going to sound, sound a little sarcastic, but got to say it. If you want something that receives DC to daylight, we've got the R8600. We've got the R9500. Those will work perfectly for that right. application. SSB, CW, RTTY, hey. AM, ATV, Do FM. ATV. Click on ATV. Let's see it. Oh, hey. We have audio. So then menu, hit menu. Uh, the menu button and go where's the decode is there a decode because you're ATV right now right right video hey look at, look at that that's super cool oh I love it now if an episode of I Love Lucy came up there I'd be really impressed yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is that is real that is really cool so uh, the obvious question then what do you hook up to be the transmitter the TX, if you had a video supply or something. It's got the composite out input, right? Electric key, in. external speaker, mic speakerphone, mic. AV in. Yeah. Is that AV yeah. in right yeah. there? Yeah, right there. So it's a yeah, I don't, I don't have my glasses You can literally on, so connect a camera to it. Yeah. Go. I don't know if anybody's picked this up, but on all the ICOM radios that have the M scope, yeah. you don't have to go in the menu and pick scope. You just hold it down. You just push and hold it. That's right. But that's just going to show. We like to keep things consistent. We come out with a new radio. It doesn't need to, to be something altogether new. So the, the manual might not be open a whole lot. Right. Well, I mean, again, this is kind of a, this is uncharted territory for pretty much any company at this point. For all in the box, this kind of capability. So I feel like it's something that's going to be built upon over time, right? So right, right here, our span, we're looking at minus 25 to plus 25. Yeah. You can see we're out of band at this point. So just ham bands only. Right. Okay. Filter setups you can, or for the screen, you can do either center or fixed. I mean, beyond, it's a, yeah, beyond it's that, identical. it feels just like yeah. the 705. It looks the same. I mean, that's what we expect, right? Yeah. Right on. All right, Ray. Well, this is, I'm excited. You wanna uh, you wanna tell us uh, what you think the price might be? No, I can't. <laughs> I gotta I can't. ask, right? I gotta I ask. ask. I gotta I was, ask. I was gonna ask if you had a release date. Well, I'll take that next. Yeah. I, I got a I got a release date that I hope for, but I'm not gonna say it. I okay. don't want to jinx it. 
Okay. Know what you're, th you're, you're thinking. The next time we all get Ham sometime, Benson, are we yeah, thinking Ham Benson? <laughs> sometime this. How about that? Sometime this year. Okay. All right. <laughs>